Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do basic cable stitches. Um, in this swatch I've got here in my hand, um, on the outside are two over two cables, and in the middle are three over three cables. And in this swatch, they're all left leaning, so they all go this way. Um, but I will show you how to do both left and right leaning. Uh, cables in this video and this is the right-handed video if you want to learn how to do this lefty uh, I've got another video in this YouTube channel that shows you how to do just exactly what we're learning right-handed in this video But it's the left hand version. All right, so first let's start with the 2 by 2 left leaning cable so when you come to a row in your knitting pattern where it wants some cabling you just work the pattern like normal until you get to the stitches that are to be cabled. So for a 2x2 two two cable, you need 4 stitches because it's 2 plus 2 equals 4 to get the 2 over 2 cable. Oh yeah, and when you cable, you need a cable needle. This one looks kind of like a shepherd's hook. Um, the cable needle I learned on as a kid used to be my great-grandma's and it's shaped kind of like a wide U. I found that I dropped a lot of stitches with that one and I almost never dropped stitches with this one. This is um, a Clover product, I believe. Um, and if you get as you get better with cabling, you can um, learn how to cable even without a needle. Um, but since this is a beginner tutorial, I recommend this style of cable needle or any cable needle. I've also used a safety pin. Really anything works. So, with your cable needle or safety pin, whichever you prefer, you'll pick two, you'll slide two stitches off of the left-handed needle and onto your cabling hook. Since we're going to want the cable to lean left, we'll let that hang in front of our work, keep our working yarn at the back, and then we will knit two stitches totally leapfrogging the two that are on the cable needle, all right? And then, without twisting the cable needle, because that'll mess up your cable, you will knit the two stitches right off the cable needle. And if holding three needles freaks you the F out, just slide the two, ne the two stitches from your cable needle onto your left-hand needle and do it that way. Otherwise, if you're cool with the three needles, just knit off of the cable needle, just drop it on the table or your lap or whatever. That's what I usually do. Sometimes I have to chase a cable needle across the room, but it works for me. So there is the two over two left leaning cable, and then we just work the rest of the row in pattern, vanilla style. Um, a lot of times, um, speaking of this swatch, a lot of times cables are offset by purl stitches so they kind of pop a little more, um, but your pattern might call for something different. So then we work the next row vanilla style or according to the pattern. So between all of those rows that we do cable, there's generally like, basically it's like stockinette stitch often to get the classic cable look. Um, and that lets the twist that you introduced into your work um, with the cable kind of spread out and um, aesthetically form that classic twist that you think of when you think of something that is cabled. And see how this is leaning left just like all these other ones? Perfecto. All right, now I'll show you how to do a three over three cable and how to make that lean to the right. You can do cables with two over two, three over three, four over four, one over one. It's the same technique with the uh, cable needle as far as which way you flip it to get a right leaning or left leaning cable. And just a reminder, this is the right handed video because everything on the left hand version, opposite, which shouldn't be that much of a surprise, but I just thought that would be worth saying out loud. Okay. So for the three over three right leaning, you can see that these cables all lean to the right in this swatch. You will once again work your cable row up until you get to your stitches. And just like with the two over two cable, um, 
two, you needed four stitches. With the three over three cable, you'll need six. So we're up to those six stitches. Grab our cable needle, slip three stitches onto the cable needle, and then this time, since we want the cable to lean to the right, we'll drop the cable needle to the back of the work and bring that working yarn in between the cable needle and the left hand needle. Then we will work three stitches off the left hand needle, leapfrogging the three that are on the cable needle, like so. And then, just like before, we'll work the three stitches, stitches from the cable needle, or you can slip them onto the left needle if you're more comfortable with a two needle situation. Again, remember not to let your cable needle twist and bring the working yarn back so it's in the right position to knit those three stitches that were being held on the cable needle. So one, two, three, and then drop the cable needle. Bring the working yarn back to the front if you're about to purl and work the rest of your row. So at this point, just double check with your work. Just take a look at it and make sure it's leaning the way you want it to lean. So see how these are all leaning to the right. You'll notice that with um, the more stitches that you cable, so like the three over three involve more stitches being twisted than the two over two. Um, and the more stitches you do, the tighter that twist gets because you're asking more stitches to twist and leapfrog over each other. So that's something to keep in mind if you're um, coming up with your own cable design for a project. Um, one by one is really cool because it's really subtle and tiny. Um, but the possibilities with cabling are endless. You can find some really awesome patterns um, in books or on Ravelry or on blogs that make really cool cabled garments. Mm -hmm.